everybody, and welcome back to Simeon Jimmy's Treehouse Podcast, and boy, howdy, do we have a guest for you today. Perhaps the farthest anybody has ever traveled to come join me in my treehouse. You know him, you probably don't love him. He made one good game and one bad game, won't say which is which. That's right, it's Florian Himsel. Yeah, welcome everybody, I'm... Glad to finally join you in your prestigious treehouse, the namesake of this channel. I'm glad that I'm finally here and we can we can actually hang out. You know, we don't hang out enough. We, we should do this more. I mean, in my opinion, hanging out is just sitting there with your friends talking about a movie, and I feel like we do that quite a bit. Yeah, but no, if, if, I mean, I guess it's more like catching up where we can talk about like ourselves and stuff. What are we, gay? What Therapy here now? Do I need to therapize you right now, Florian? You know, tell me about your childhood. Why did your mother beat you? <laughs> well, I was a pretty bad child. Yeah, you, kept, like. you kept telling your mom all of your movie opinions, and she's, she grabbed a wooden <laughs> spoon and started beating the shit out of you. No, no, she's got, like, pretty, pretty much the same opinions as me. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, if I had the same movie opinions as my mom, I would just stop watching movies. Yeah, because you have so much internalized shame. <laughs> oh, if only. It would have solved a lot of problems if I could feel shame. But, uh, <laughs> Florian, you know, you might not believe this. You might think I'm joking when I say this, but I've actually never had an Austrian person on this podcast before. So you are really representing your country right now. I... Was I not on the Bumpkin Big show? I guess that's No, on this show, you know, the, the Treehouse. It's the flagship program. 80% of the uploads on this channel are of this show and not oh, yeah, something okay. else. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, I'm finally breaking into the big time, you know. Well, spe uh, speaking of breaking into the big time, uh, breaking news, Florian, you've had a pretty big week, I've got to say. Uh, just a little background information for the folks at home. We have a, a little Discord chat with me, Florian, Hartsey, and Erich, because, you know, we're the Better Call Saul boys, and we, we like to talk about the show throughout the week and, you know, just send each other memes and stuff. And one day, not too long ago, Hartsey Protzy sends a little chat saying, Oh my god! And I'm not even going to try to do the voice because I don't want to get cancelled again. But, Hartsey says, oh, oh my god, Florian! In the new video game Donkey video, he mentions Ball Frog, and of course, uh, neither one of us believed him. I don't think, right? We both thought he was full of shit. Well, well I saw there was like a faint possibility, but it seemed pretty. pretty well, it, sus, it, it was like Donkey's E3 video, and I'm like, well, I don't think <laughs> Ball Frog was at E3, but maybe I just, you know, I didn't watch it, so maybe I just missed out. Uh, uh, you're not a big Donkey fan. Now, he does pretty, pretty weird stuff. No, so I, I'm a Donkey like fan. It. I just, I. I didn't think Ballfrog was mentioned at E3, so I, I don't know I, why it would be featured in Donkey's E3 video. I, I think he always like adds some games that aren't in the E3 in, in those videos. Wait, so you're, t you're telling me Ballfrog was not at E3? No! <laughs> oh. Well, what, you didn't get invited this year? Yeah, I wish. I mean, I... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I probably wouldn't go anyways, like, go somewhere in person, no thanks, fucking accommodate me, I'm I'm an introvert. <laughs> so, uh, we don't believe him, well, I guess you, you, you think there's, what, a 5% chance that maybe he's telling the truth, and he happens to post a time code, because it's a 10 minute video, so what, we're gonna fucking get trolled by Heartsy and watch a 10 minute fucking video? No thanks, but, uh... It's a miss anyways, it's just one word in the whole video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lo and behold, I go to the timestamp... And there's the game that has been advertised on every single episode of Izukino. Donkey, yeah. he's listing off all of the frog-based games, and Ballfrog is like number three on his list. Yeah, so I guess it actually may have paid off sending him that key, you know? <laughs> you sent Donkey a free copy of the game? Yeah, but we sent it to, like, most... Uh, to tons of people, really, so I guess it's good that some of them... I mean, they probably get spammed, too, with, like, game keys all the time. Wow, yeah, what what horrible spam every video game ever made for free. Oh, man, <laughs> his poor inbox. Well, well, it's like a $5 game about a fat <laughs> frog, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> I might skip that one, I guess, sadly. <laughs> well, my question is, Florian, 
Uh, this is the type of exposure that you cannot pay for. This video currently has, as of this recording, I believe, three million views. And I'm dying to know, of those three million views, how many of them translated to game sales uh, for your game? I'd say about five. <laughs> five five thousand copies? <laughs> five single copies. Uh, <laughs> isn't that crazy though? That out of a ten-minute video, <laughs> he can mention your game for one second, and like five people will be curious enough just based off the artwork, I guess, to go literally buy it. Yeah. Do I you, guess they're big frog fans. <laughs> well, do you now owe Video Game Donkey $25? Uh, I guess, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're gonna give him all the profit? Really? <laughs> do you think he was, uh, giving you, like, a nice shout-out, or was he kind of shitting on you for being one of the many frog games? I think he he, he really likes indie games, so I, I don't think he would be shitting on me. He, he especially makes the video to, to say that, like, the... The, the mainstream games weren't that impressive, so he, he lists all those games that are not mainstream games, so... I, th I think it's mostly positive, but it's too bad he he didn't, like, go more into it, I guess. Would have been nice to, to see him play it, but... I mean, it could happen, but it seems pretty unlikely that <laughs> he would make a, a video covering all the, the frog games specifically, even though that would be amazing. <laughs> He should, uh, just play Frogger. I think that was a perfect frog game and everything else is just extra. Yeah, that's right. I guess I'm pointless. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why didn't you just make another Frogger? I don't have the IP. I don't know. <laughs> well. Uh, the old one or, or that weird 3D one they made? <laughs> oh, for the PlayStation 1? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd love that game. Definitely have played it many times. I think uh, I, I did it. I, I can never tell with you if you're serious. Uh, I I legitimately did a let's play of PlayStation One Frogger while doing a bad impression of Kermit the Frog. <laughs> so it was Kermit the Frog plays. <laughs> hey, Kermit the Frog here playing Frogger, and I, I talked like that for ten minutes, and uh, you know, very popular uh, video at the time. I guess I do remember that. Yeah. Wow. So are we gonna? <laughs> oh wow. Are we gonna see the return of Kermit the Frog? Yeah, Ker in, Kermit in the, the frog. frog. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm here playing yeah. the Ball Frog, which is what happens when Miss Piggy and I have a child. <laughs> well, I guess there's no way that Kermit would ever say anything bad about Ball Frog. So I guess we got this stream in the bag, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, who are you gonna play if I'm playing Kermit then? Oh shit! I, I have to play someone. Yeah. Now. Um, <laughs> shit, I'm too bad at playing people. Um, I guess I would be some kind of Miss Piggy. No, I God, what does she? Even it doesn't sound have like? to be a Muppet. You could be anybody. You could be Heartsy Pratsy. <laughs> wow, so many choices. Yeah, he's as famous of a celebrity as Kermit the Frog. Yeah, maybe I should learn how to do a a really good donkey impression. Maybe that'll be the best. Yeah, and then you can be in the Donkey Clones Two video. <laughs> Did you make that video too? No, I I'm not a donkey clone. I don't think. Oh wait, no, he made that video. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was that was something. <laughs> well, enough about balls and frogs because people are dying to get an update uh, on a story you were telling us at the end of the most recent chillin' like a villain stream. If you have not listened to this, people, I implore you, I'll probably have a, a time-stamped link in the description. Uh, I was doing like a two and a half hour stream, and in about the last hour or so, Florian called in, and we talked about all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, Florian talked about how he only showers once a week, and you know, the chat thought that was I pretty funny. I used to do that. <laughs> Don't do it now. <laughs> now, you, now you shower once a month, you know, you're cutting back on water. <laughs> Yeah. There's a big drought in Austria right now. Yeah, I was lamenting that I had to wash every day because of my <laughs> long hair getting sweaty and gross, you know, so... But, but you also, uh, you were very open about your dating life and how <laughs> yeah. you are uh, a proud sugar daddy to the finest prostitutes in all of Austria. And uh, we're all dying to know, have you found your Eva Braun? <laughs> wow, Eva Braun. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad that you've mentioned this this very important lore in in my character <laughs> in in the chilling stream so yeah yeah i've been on on several dates i guess i haven't found like the right one yet you haven't but found I your even run <laughs> yeah i, I wish <laughs> you wish
Well, I guess I guess the the one that I dumped would have been most fitting for to that role because she was, was a flat like, earther. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like Eva Braun famously was. I mean, she's she was also pretty far right, so I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you think Eva Braun was pretty far right? I mean, yeah. Hitler's wife. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, she ha- she she married him because because she was so in line with the politics. Wait, you, know? you don't think Hitler was open minded enough to like date a liberal? <laughs> no. Like, you know, I don't care about the politics of the woman. <laughs> That's what Hitler yeah, would yeah. say. Yeah, he'd probably just forbid her from, from speaking altogether, right? <laughs> probably for the best. Yeah. You, you know the story of Eva Braun and how she how she was like the biggest fangirl and she, she, she got his attention? <laughs> That's how I've gotten every girlfriend for the last six years, so I guess I really literally am Hitler. Yeah, yeah, you just get those, those goose-stepping Nazi girls coming for you. That's right. You can't avoid them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so what, what is the latest update? You, have you found uh, a real special lady? How are these dates going? Well, there, there's this one lady that is, I, be, I guess, pretty convenient because, like, I, I guess she's kind of cute, but, but she doesn't oh. really do it for me. But <laughs> What? What? I hope she but, doesn't well, listen to this show. I mean, whatever. I, I tell her this stuff. You know that you can choose whichever girl you want, right? If, if you think she's only kind of cute, you can just, like, flip the page yeah, in the well, catalog. We're getting to that, okay? Oh, okay. So, bas- so basically, like, I, I, I was a, a, an incel for, for a while, right? So it's actually now, pretty Politically good I... or physically? <laughs> physically. <laughs> <laughs> so it's good that I, I get to experiment more now, right? So, so it's like... Well, like I, butt stuff? No, 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 like anything really. Oh. Like for example, I, I I don't like no, not that way. <laughs> I I don't like big breasts, and and this girl has like really really big breasts. And, oh, and man, I hate it me. when that happens. Yeah, I, I hate it too. It's like I can't even take her seriously. She's just like <laughs> wow. He's like, uh, how how can I respect you as a human when you got those fun balloons, you know, just floating around right there? It's like, what are you, a circus clown? I mean, they're like so central, okay? So I, like, jeez, and it just just hanging out, you know? Yeah, stuff <laughs> those things back in there. <laughs> so, anyways, I I told her that, and I said, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not into into big breasts and stuff. You said she, that to her. I, I know, right? What, what, what a what gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> so, so basically, I guess she still needed money, so. <laughs> She was fine with with with, with coming to uh, with, with coming home with me and 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 she was fine with me continuing to to look for for like the the girl that'll really suit me. So that's cool. Got got a, a very useful connection there, and she's actually pretty nice to talk to. She it, it's so rare that like these girls actually care about anything that's halfway interesting, and she cares about TV shows, which I do a lot too. So. <laughs> We yeah, she has sophisticated. To talk about. I know, right? What, what kind of shows does she like? Let me guess. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Let's see. If you're dating a big titty prostitute and she likes the same shows as you, so uh, is it the Green Eggs and Ham cartoon on Netflix? <laughs> I wish you no, wish. you haven't tried to show that one to her. <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I don't know if we're gonna have that much time together, you know, but... When she sucks uh, your dick, do you stare at Sam I Am and pretend that it's him? <laughs> <laughs> I do not like Florian's cock and balls. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like Florian's cock and balls on an Auschwitz train? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you know, we really shouldn't call them prostitutes, okay? They, they, I thought that was your of, word! You said that on the stream! I mean, I said there's prostitution, but that doesn't mean that they're a prostitute, you know? Because, so they're escorts. Well, the whole point of the website is that you're getting, like, the girl next door, and then, like, yeah, they're a little desperate, so they'll do what well, you want. Well, the girl next extent. door if you live next to a brothel. <laughs> I mean, yeah, in, in this case specifically, yeah, because, like... Like big breasts and like way too much makeup, but ooh she, yeah, she, can't you pay her extra to not put on all the fucking clown makeup? Oh, I, I I didn't even have to pay extra. It was great, but it's it's like funny because like she didn't even conceive it as as like clown makeup because she 
she None comes of them from like do. A, yeah, well, there's a reason because she comes from a, a culture where, where they all do that. Like all the girls will 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 have like way too much lipstick and, and blush and everything. It's I think Romania is where she's from, so she didn't even realize that, that she came off that way. I I told her, and I guess she she really takes things quite nicely. So that's. <laughs> Do you say anything to her that is positive? Because it sounds like you're complaining about her breast size and her makeup. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I didn't really say that much to her that was positive, but I mean, I, I guess we just like, it, it was just nice to talk and, and I, I guess she appreciates the honesty. So, but so what shows so does she like? Uh, well, she she likes Prison Break and I like Prison okay. Break. I, I remember guess, my so dad cool. liked that show. I have not watched it. Yeah, I, I binged it all recently, so I've seen it twice now. <laughs> and how many times do they break out of prison? <laughs> <laughs> probably like six times you know? <laughs> it sounds yeah, like an one, exciting one show for sure I mean yeah it, it really is I mean you, it, it gets pretty crazy but I, I think I think it makes sense internally and like, I guess the best times is when they're actually out of prison but I'm the only one thinking that I guess everyone else is like oh yeah it's so boring when they're, out, when they're on the run and stuff Ugh, I can't believe yeah. they broke out of prison why can't they just go back I mean, they do go back. This show eventually. sucks now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I used to love that show. It was great. Well, so what else does she like? Does she like Rick and Morty? Uh, I haven't asked, but I guess she liked Barry, so that's good. Oh, shit. You really binged all of Barry with this woman? <laughs> no. Uh, you make her watch randomly. random episodes? No, she just said she, she watched it, too. I mean, we didn't oh. talk about, about it too much, but yeah. Okay. Well, that's yeah, good. I'm I mean, I wouldn't like tell her to do anything like that. That would be wouldn't be particularly like worth her time, considering we're, we're probably a pretty temporary thing. What to watch a TV show with you? <laughs> well, I mean, I don't even know how. I mean, like, I guess she'd still watch it alone. I mean, I don't even like watching stuff with other people together. Oh, really? I like to focus. Well, to you like to extent. focus on what your phone screen while the show is on in the background. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Don't <laughs> so even anyways. try to lie. <laughs> so, anyways, that that was cool. But then I went on another date, and and she I, had even I, bigger tits, and you're like, oh hell no. <laughs> I mean, that also happens, but <laughs> oh, she, she blocked me eventually. I guess she she like blocked me. you. Yeah. I mean, we still had, like, a nice night, but whatever. Well, okay, just, we like, need to hear why did she block you. Well, I don't know. I guess I guess she just figured out I wasn't into her. She, I, <laughs> I also told her that I broke up with my previous one because of the anti-vax stuff. And then she, she like, had shifty eyes, and it turns <laughs> out she was also anti-vax. So. I was literally about to ask if she had shifty eyes, like, word for word. So <laughs> that, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. That was crazy. But, but yeah, it was good. It's, it's good to, to like be able to, to have relationships with these women briefly, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I never used to do that, but I guess it's... I guess just a little experimentation to I find the right one. But so when you find like the right the, one, does that mean like marriage or does that mean an extended payment plan? <laughs> Definitely uh, the payment plan, you know? <laughs> wow! That's the opposite answer I was expecting. You don't want to settle down with, like, a real girlfriend? I mean, I guess it could happen if she's, like, really perfect. But but realistically, I'm not, like, into the, the whole spending a lot of time together, you know? Because <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like it's a waste of time, honestly. Like, just, you really not, you got nothing better to do than just be happy? Come on. Yeah, like, how are you supposed to procrastinate making your next game when you got a girlfriend trying to hang out with you all day? Yeah, I mean, I guess it could potentially help, but I feel like I'd want to play video games, sorry. That's right. That's right. <laughs> At least you know what makes you happy. <sighs> yeah. Uh, so anyways, the, the next date I went on, I actually cancelled the, the, cuck the cuck review we were going to do. And, and I thought, yeah, this is a, a great opportunity to get cucked in real life. Because this girl, she tells me she wants to go to a fancy restaurant, you know? How fancy? So, 
Oh, very fancy. It's like way too expensive. Do they serve for ratatouille there? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, then how fancy could it really be? Well, ratatouille was like a, a food for like poor people in, in what? the show, right? <laughs> the fuck? You don't, you don't remember the movie? All I know is that, you know, it was some fancy five-star Michelin restaurant and the the critic wanted that ratatouille. So I figured it was the fanciest food ever made. No, the critic, like, grew up as a poor person, so they they looked into what what would be good for him. So they they cooked, like, a really good version of this poor man's food. So I, I wanted to know if there were any ratatouille restaurants near me. And I don't mean a, sh- a restaurant where the chef is a rat hiding in somebody's hat, but like a place that serves the dish. And there was, there's one fancy restaurant downtown Des Moines called, I think, Django. Um, it's unconfirmed whether it is uh, chained or not, but uh, they do serve ratatouille and it was like $15 on the menu. So are you telling me that's a ripoff? I mean, that sounds like a... Uh... A reasonable price for a fancy restaurant? I don't know. But you're I mean, saying it's, it's like a $2 dish? I mean, yeah, but like, how expensive is pizza and how much does it cost, you know? Like, pizza's a, a trash dish too, but it became pretty popular. Well, we here in America, we don't put corn on our pizza. We put, like, meat, and meat is pretty expensive. Not really, is it? I uh, wish it was expensive. I mean, meat has been going up in price a lot lately. Well, it should, because it's like... Pretty, pretty bad <laughs> for the planet. Meat? Oh, Florian. Yeah, imagine. <laughs> yeah, feeding animals to feed to animals. Yeah, how, how could that be wasteful, am I right? You know what would be really bad for the planet is uh, if we didn't have meat, there'd be massive suicides. What would that be? Oh, if I was told I can never eat meat again, I'm done. It's goodbye. <laughs> I mean, I really wish people just eat less meat, like... It, is the, is the dish really that much better if you've got, like, such a huge amount of meat? I feel like if, if it was, like, a third of the amount, it would still be good. You Florian, know? 80% of my meals are just the meat. I'll grill up what a steak and fuck? just eat it. Why? It's delicious. I don't want all that fucking vegetable shit ruining my delicious steak. Oh, man. Vegetables have really grown on me lately. You should you should try to eat them more. They're really good. Yeah, yeah but meat is way better. Yeah, I, I don't know. You can roast vegetables pretty good, and then you just need a tiny amount of meat, and it'll be good. Anyways, <laughs> so you really are becoming me- bigs with how much uh, the so anyways are coming out. That was his catchphrase yeah, I'm too. Just, I'm, I'm just trying to get to tell this story, you know. Well, you're bigs <laughs> with two G's. Yeah, it's got got all the. <laughs> And then I want to go back to the story with so anyway. Well, go back to it, it's fine. So so what do you think? Do you think I, I get cucked or do you think I Wait, so you you... Think this girl is 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 wanting to, to meet me after this fancy restaurant? So she wants to go to a fancy restaurant with the fabulous Florian and the way you set up the story, I'm guessing it ends happily. I think uh you guys had sex five times that night. Yeah, surely, right? Uh oh! Don't call me Shirley. Yeah, I guess I guess you would you would see that one coming, huh? <laughs> well, she, I'm guessing she didn't see anything coming that night. <laughs> no. <laughs> what, what? So what happened? What did she order? The ratatouille? So I was afraid she would order the steak because that would be the most expensive one. They have like fifty dollars steaks on there, so. Luckily, she didn't do that. We, we ordered the schnitzel, which is like <laughs> a slightly cheaper steak, I guess. What, wait, what is schnitzel? I, I only know that as a, a fabulous art. No, the misadventures of Flapjack. Isn't that the name of the character, schnitzel? Maybe. Well, schnitzel is like a really common food around here. It's basically like a, a fried piece of, of like either pig's meat or chicken's meat. And, and it's like pretty flat, but it's really delicious. Here we call that uh, chicken fried chicken. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you've got like different shapes, I guess. But yeah. Well, I mean, it's just, it's just the meat, it doesn't have anything else. Yeah. yeah. And it's delicious. Well, it, it, it's fried in a different way, I guess. It's got like breadcrumbs and stuff. And, and, and a bit of egg. I, I don't know, what, what goes into... Oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's normally a really good food. Like, one of the best things you normally, eat. Normally? Uh-oh, did they fuck it up? Yeah. 
Well, I mean, yeah, it was it was pretty bad the way Aww. they made it. Yeah, imagine like paying like f five times more than for a normal schnitzel, and then it's not even that good, <laughs> you know? Yeah, that I, happened I, to me. Uh, I, me and Aggie went to a fancy uh, fried chicken place again in downtown Des Moines called uh, uh, Bubba, and their expensive fancy fried chicken was literally worse than the gas station fried chicken I had a couple days later. So yeah, I've been there before. Yeah, I, I wrote a review for that for that restaurant. It really sucked, you know. It's uh, well, on Letterbox. <laughs> no, on Google reviews. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, when you leave a so, bad review on Google reviews, is it under your like full real name? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if I ever go there, I'm sure they'll, they'll recognize me or something. That's well, the I son of a bitch like... who hated my schnitzel. Yeah. Well, damn, why don't you just learn how to make a schnitzel from the literally next door <laughs> supermarket? Fucking hack. <laughs> Do you want to give the name of this restaurant so everybody else can uh, leave a one-star schnitzel review? Oh, yeah, you'll love this one. It's called Das Schindler. Why would I love yeah. that? Like like Schindler's Yeah, list, just, do they know? call the menu his list? His <laughs> list of food? Nope. <laughs> no, they don't. There's actually a lot of things that have the Schindler name on it, I guess. Cause He's I a guess famous he man. Have, he must have become a pretty good entrepreneur after after his movie. Is it bad that <laughs> I have still not seen that film? Yes, that's very uh, bad. Should we, I see it? We should, we should Kino it right now. Okay. Uh, hey, everybody. Can welcome back to Is It Kino. Today we're watching <laughs> a great comedy. It takes place in the <laughs> fictional world of Nazi Germany, I do believe. <laughs> it's called Liam Neeson did everything wrong. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, but you if Jesus really was real, he would not have let Schindler do what he did. What? No, Schindler helped them. <laughs> yeah, that's, what, what do you think I'm saying here? <laughs> revenge on the Jews yeah. for what they did? <sighs> Jesus would never take revenge. Wow. Uh, he flipped over some tables one time. <laughs> yeah, clearly he, he was pissed. A genocide, you know. <laughs> <laughs> His dad sure fucking did. And as far as the Bible is concerned, they're the same person. So, yeah, yeah I guess so. You know, sins of the father it, comes straight from the Holy Trinity. Yeah, they never resolved that plot hole, did they? <laughs> no, I think we're gonna get that in Bible too. They're still working <laughs> on it. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, the the new now, New Testament. Gonna drop it. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> so, anyways, what? <laughs> what, what, what would you guess that this this woman like what what would you know about her her background well she's desperate enough for money that she'll go on a date with you and she wants free schnitzel so I'm guessing uh, she left the dinner early and you did not hear from her again well she act I, I guess that actually did happen yeah wow okay <laughs> what happened uh, so so this girl is a is a Turk. So a young Turk. If well, obviously I wouldn't wouldn't be dating like uh, I guess I could date an older woman. Never mind. But yeah, I, I mean she's like twenty and and fairly attractive. So, okay. So that's good. But then, like, it turns out that she's a virgin. So what? Yeah. So what would you expect? Then that's that, what they all say, though. No. No, I believe her. Like, God, you really? Come on, man. These girls are pretty honest. Like on this website, it's not. It's never mind. The fuck is a virgin doing on that website? Like, is she auctioning it off? I mean, that's what I was wondering too. You know. And you so bid one schnitzel to get her virginity. <laughs> so, so basically, she wanted, I, I guess, to 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 meet me more, and and so whether or not she could decide whether or not she she would want to do the deed you know and well i told her well i'm not paying for that you know if if you want like i guess the like the what you'd expect is that you'd have to pay the girl for every date you know like they, they get a little money so I, I told her if if she wanted to do that we can do it but she's not gonna get the the money i guess you would get the food but not the money did you tell her that your nickname is uh, florian the hymen hacker himsel why would that be my nickname? Because you take every girl's virginity, and you know she's next in line. <laughs> wow, yeah, the, the incel would have that nickname. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
So, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, you, you always make <laughs> these jokes. No wonder that, that Big <laughs> will have to, to go back to, to his story with this show anyways, right? Well, no wonder why he quit the show. Yeah, clearly. He couldn't handle the banter. <laughs> yeah, it is too much to handle. Mm. Well, let's finish this fucking story off. Why did she leave early? So, I, I don't know how much you know about Turks. I guess they're basically what we have instead of Mexicans. Like, there, there's a lot of them here. <laughs> Whoa! And, and, and they, they, they're having, like, their, their own communities where they where they always hang out with each other. They're, like, doing so, uh, hat dances and uh, quinceañeras <laughs> and shit. Well, obviously not, because they're, like, Mexican. do 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 no, they're, they're like Islamic, so they they do different stuff, I guess. Uh, they're like flying planes into buildings and stuff. <laughs> no, I, I guess they just like go and and then they they have like the women serve them food and stuff. I, Ooh, I don't know. okay. Sounds like I yeah. need to become a Turk. Yeah, maybe. Wait, okay, so, so they're from so they Turkey. Based... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what, what's that country even called now? Ah, oh, Turkey. Wait, it's not called Turkey anymore. No, they changed the name. When? <laughs> this year, I said. They were sick of all the, the Hungary and Turkey jokes? <laughs> yeah, probably. I imagine. Hmm. I, I guess it's still pretty much spelled the same and pronounced the same, though, so I guess never mind. <laughs> so they didn't really change it that much, then. <laughs> I mean, the spelling's different. <laughs> okay. It's probably got, like, a, a weird apostrophe or something. Wait, so finish your racist thought about Turkish people. While we're here. So, so she got she gets a call from her mother, which like you, you could imagine that she she would have not told her mother that that she is like dipping her her toe into into becoming a sugar baby. Mm. So like what what what, what will she even say? Like, I guess she doesn't say anything about where she is. So it so she just has to go because oh, now mother, I, I'm on a date with the man who made the binding of Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that game. <laughs> I'm playing it yeah. right now. I'm on level 48. Yeah, that's that that game that religious people just love, you know. <laughs> they better. They should. <laughs> so, I guess uh. her mother wants her to Oh, shut up. <laughs> so, so, her mother wants her to 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 come over cuz they've got family over cuz they like, cuz her I father assume... wants to take her virginity <laughs> like in a serbian <laughs> film no it's very important to maintain the virginity okay yeah it, it would be very bad to, to lose such a thing so so basically like i i guess they always have like people over that they're always having like hospitality happening and so she's expected to come home and and i guess serve like the family or whatever or just like be friendly or whatever so she has to go because because now she's expected to to like be a good daughter <laughs> and, and that was i guess the last that i that i saw of her because she wanted to i mean she wouldn't want to blow her cover on what she's actually doing so the question is why why did she end up blocking me was it because she she figured out that she, she couldn't do this sugar baby thing when with her family breathing down her neck all the time or or maybe she just hates me maybe she just expected to get paid for every day at a fancy restaurant <laughs> yeah i would think so. that the food is the payment when you're at a restaurant you should only be paying for sex yeah i mean i usually only pay for the sex yeah i usually I like paid the whore I'm to leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, sex is free, but cab fare is not. <laughs> now, basically, like uh, the, these sugar daddies, they usually pay them for for like all of the time that they hang out with them. But I, I usually just do the. I usually just pay for the sex, which is why I usually don't don't see my sugar babies for more than just the sex. <laughs> <laughs> You're <laughs> the they, frugal they sugar fish. daddy. Yeah. So that's that's how that happens. So yeah, what do you think? What, what do you, I, do you think I, she, she, she's looking for another daddy? Or, or is she has, has she wised up? Well, all you gotta do... I mean, is she not even on the website anymore? Because just make a new account and, and catfish her and see if she'll uh, show up to the same schnitzel restaurant. And uh, this time you can stand her up. 
Well, she also didn't like the food there, so she'll probably find, like, a new fancy restaurant. Uh, well, try to meet her up at uh, McDonald's or whatever you call it over there. <laughs> what, Mick Hitler's? Is that what they call it? We have McDonald's, okay? What? We don't have KFCs, but we have McDonald's. <laughs> Good, fuck KFC. I really would like to try a KFC at no. some point. KFC has not been good in over 15 years. Just eat at Popeye's if you get the chance. I'm sure that's that's on its way to Austria any day now. I, it's so weird how you have these shitty restaurants and and no and, and like ha, who likes them, but then like they still exist. But I guess KFC is probably pretty popular, right? Yeah, I think it might be too big to fail. Although I think four or five years ago, this YouTuber named Austin McConnell made a video about the downfall of KFC, and he really articulates like every single reason why they've gone downhill. So I'm guessing they're not doing as hot as as they were maybe like in the 80s and 90s. Ah, uh, yeah, a, a, a destructive review, just just blowing them out of the water. <laughs> I mean, they are filthy and run by like uh, really? brain dead retards, and like the food is just disgusting, wet, greasy. It's it's horrible. Like I I've had KFC twice, and I it, it was a huge regret for sure. Uh, yeah, I guess that's too bad. It looks so delicious. Who wouldn't want to have a, a finger licking chicken? Damn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so is that the? So, is, are we caught up on your dating life, or do you have uh, more well, tales of fancy? Oh, I I guess I like recently I met one that that might really be perfect. Cause she's oh, like, let's hear about she, her. She's into the the kinky stuff, but there isn't much to say. Whoa, I hold up. Do we, do we even want to know? <clears throat> well, it's probably. Well, I, I guess it'd be really nice to have, like, a girl where I can just really spank her butt, you know? Oh, just, that's like, right. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Just, just like, really hard, you know? If she's, if, I mean, if her ass is fat enough, it won't even be painful. At least that's oh, what yeah, I've heard. I'd, yeah, maybe that's why I don't like fat butts, you know? You gotta have those. You those want them to feel the pain. Girl. You you want to feel the, the bone in her ass when you're slapping her. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I think you might be some sort of, like, masochist or something. Is that what it's called when you want to hurt people? No, that's a sadist. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm stupid. Yeah, yeah I, I'd be looking for a masochist girl, yeah. Yeah, which, that's, yep. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Which is what she is, so that would be... How that embarrassing that the Austrian knows mess. English better than me. <laughs> yeah, it's embarrassing. Well, it's the same word here, it's just slightly different. <laughs> and also, I'm, I, I am... It so I guess that makes sense. <laughs> das masochist. <laughs> well, not that one. <laughs> yeah. oh, not that one. But yeah, I guess that's pretty close to what it's like. Wait, so work. this this perfect girl. So she has flat tits and a flat ass. Well, she she has like I guess well, I, I don't know about the the ass too much, but I guess if I if, if the the kinky stuff is there, that's probably more important than the. I mean, she she doesn't have like ridiculously large breasts. I don't think, but I guess Good. we'll see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so another thing with this this like Turkish thing, like there's this this huge rivalry between Kurds and and Turks. <laughs> oh, you, so, yeah, you're telling me. Yeah. So if I ever told her that my father was was Kurdish, uh, I, I don't know how that would go. <laughs> especially yeah. if, especially if her fa family ever found out, you know. So <laughs> it's probably a, a blessing in disguise that I. It might be an awkward wedding. Around. Yeah. So what? Well, I guess there wouldn't be a wedding, so that's probably fine. <laughs> yeah, I guess that'd be pretty awkward all round. But she was pretty cute, so it's I guess also a shame. But it's good I don't have to make the choice whether or not I want to risk it. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think uh, with this new perfect girl? Do you think you're going to try to tie the knot? I mean, we'll see. I mean, it's just not like there's... Uh, I mean, probably... I, I guess it could happen, but but I don't think so. I mean... I we'll have to stay tuned. Any... I, I don't think there's anything more I could ask for than like meeting her once every two weeks. That's what I like. <laughs> I'm sure that uh, some of those ladies appreciate that as well. Yeah, probably. I, yeah. I don't know if they have like other guys too or not, but I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> don't too ask. Much. You don't want to know. <laughs> don't even. Ask. She probably 
it leaves one guy's house to go to yours, and then on the way out from yours, she, you know, goes to the third no, guy. No, no, that, that's definitely not true for most of the girls, because, like, most of the girls are incredibly picky, so there's no way that they've got multiple guys. Okay. Like, a lot of them turn me down when they see me. <laughs> you oh, know? oh, come on. Yeah, girls don't like the hair, it's pretty weird. Like, damn, it's, it's just so, so sad that girls just have such really bad taste. True. What a shame. Yeah, I've, I've been saying that my whole life. Yeah, I, I, I've seen like a picture of myself with, with short hair, and it's like, wow, this is what you people want? That's crazy. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm in okay, the process of growing my hair out. You know, I'm going to go full mullet mode ASAP, so I'll be right there with you. Yeah, just make sure to, to lock down that girl before you do it. <laughs> oh, she has been requesting it ever since we started dating. Uh, she is uh, the opposite of the women you've been talking about. She actually wants it to be long. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's like a few girls that like it, so that's good. So, but like the mullet part especially is is probably going to be even more controversial to me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. You know what? We're bringing it back. Somebody has to. Be the change you want to see in the world, Florian. I mean, I don't have a mullet. I just have like, like just the very front is short. But it, with a mullet, you have like the sides short too. So it, it, I have like a, a, a hairstyle that a girl might have, but men don't usually have that hairstyle, which is weird. They, they should. It's the best way to have long hair without it getting in your face. Like, what's the point of having long hair if you always have to tie it together? What a waste of time. You can have a badass man bun and pretend you're like a Japanese samurai. <laughs> That's the fucking worst. Oh. <laughs> well, Florian, do you have any other uh, dating stories, or should we move on to the next segment? Yeah, I, I think that's it for now. I guess stay tuned for more more dating stories. <laughs> yeah, and we might have to do another episode like in two or three weeks because I I over-prepared. I, I did not know we were going to go so long on these opening topics, which uh, I've I've been enjoying it thoroughly so far. But like we're close to an hour already, and I, I'm not even halfway through all the shit that I brought in for us to talk about. So uh, we'll definitely have to have you back soon, especially when we got so many Patreon questions that we're not going to be able to get to. Yeah, so the next time we'll probably have played Ballfrog. True. Um, yeah, I think uh, this Saturday we're going to be streaming Ballfrog, right? Yeah, well, pro oh, wait, I guess this podcast comes out tomorrow, so I guess, yeah, it's going to be soon. So so stay tuned if if there's like a huge rift between us now because because Mumpkey hated Ballfrog. Who knows? <laughs> uh, I think you can handle somebody not liking your game, right? <laughs> Depends how you sell it to your audience. The, what do you mean, sell it? Made. We're just two good friends playing a game. You know, there's no business transaction here. And I'm not yeah, expecting yeah. anybody to buy it based on what we say or do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you shit all over it, I would certainly... I'm not going to... Sh I would shit on you. I wouldn't shit on the game. It's not the game's fault that you suck. Uh, yeah, well... <laughs> I mean, that, that's pretty interchangeable, you know, like the creator <laughs> and the art. Yeah, I mean, if so somebody doesn't like, you know, one of my videos, I don't think it's a personal attack. No. Wow. Even I don't like some of my videos. <laughs> so. <laughs> but anyway, speaking of uh, personal attacks on Florian, this next segment oh, I would like to call the YouTube comment section roast of Florian Himsel. Oh good, I was afraid we'd, we'd save all of that for the next one, so so let's let's give me those those, those spicy opinions Well, now. let's have a little bit of context here. Uh, it, a lot of people don't listen to Is It Kino? I guess they, uh, they don't want to try it out, you know, they're scared of new things, which is fine. But uh, just to catch you all up, Florian is uh, known as the most popular character on that podcast. Uh, some of them think of him as a heel. Uh, it, th there's a lot of interpretations as to your uh, identity on Is It Kino. Some people think that you're playing a character and that everything you say is some sort of crazy satire. Uh, some people think that you are just a contrarian on purpose and you like to rile people up and get them mad by saying absurd things. Uh, there was one guy who legitimately for like months thought that you were actually Biggs doing a, a silly voice pretending to be this wacky character and like you can Amazing. like I could follow through his comment threads and like eventually he figured it out like wait no 
Wait, how are Biggs and Florian in this in the same stream at the same time? What's going on? So, uh, yeah, th there's a lot of uh, different ideas out there. So I think we need to clear the air once and for all uh, about you and your opinions. Uh, are they genuine or are you uh, just having fun? So what we did is that I recorded the part where I'm playing Biggs and the part where I'm playing myself in, in separate like files and we we edit them over each other so i am actually bigs that's i, I just well then like drop the accent and let let's hear your normal voice bigs i finally want to hear it <laughs> Holy Adios, shit, I got <laughs> yeah oh man i'm hungry <laughs> well i my mind is like completely uh, like empty of anything bigs relating right now that's amazing uh, i'd rather be at church than recording with monkey right now <laughs> oh, does it do that now? Fuck. Uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Big fucking time. No pun intended. <laughs> yeah, I guess he's seeing the light, huh? Maybe he yeah. should make a YouTube channel where he converts people, you know? <laughs> that's, that's what religious people always do, right? <laughs> yeah. So anyways, uh, yeah, it's... Oh, Jesus, I did it again. Wow, thanks for, for telling me that I say things off. Now I now I feel bad. I mean, <laughs> I, there's plenty of Florian catchphrases. There's, uh, oh, damn. And there's, uh, uh, I love the Hobbit. And the classic, Hitler did nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All those always. classic Florian catchphrases that he always says. Always saying those things. <laughs> So basically, is that another one? I've no, got? you're Hopefully fine. Don't, don't even be self-aware anymore. Just, uh, let's just go. Yeah, I better not. You know, being self-aware is the worst. Yeah, it, it truly really is. leads to anything good, you know? So, normally when you when you have people and and they, they, they see me as being really contrarian, it, it basically just means that they're, they're sheep, okay? They... <laughs> They're so stupid and, and so sheepish that they cannot fathom that anyone would have an opinion that isn't the same as, like, the same as everyone else. Like, But are these I, your I, real opinions, or do you, do you try to find the most interesting take you can have? They're always my real opinions, okay? okay? I, I, I never tell a lie, not, not once. Is that sarcasm? I, no! <laughs> You're always honest. I'm always honest. Okay? So, Florian, do you think I'm a handsome man? <laughs> uh, you, you, uh, <laughs> Where's yeah, the I, honesty I, I, at? Hey, I'm I'm thinking of my answer. Okay, uh, geez. Do you want me to send you some some uh, photos? Maybe some topless no, no, photos. I, I, I've seen enough. I think I think you're six out of ten. Aye, right, that's three more than I was going to give myself. So you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think you should probably like. Cut off like the very bottom of your mustache, because I, I think. Oh, I'm probably... clean shaven right now. Oh, okay. Well, it's yeah. probably worse then. <laughs> yeah, you want to have like a little bit at least. <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah. But so, so the point is, uh, all of your opinions are complete honesty. You're not playing a character. You're not trying to make people mad. Uh, I mean, I, I think when you made your review of the Northman, maybe you were trying to make people mad, but I, I assume all of those opinions are legitimate. I mean, I, I like making people mad, but yeah, I, who doesn't? But I always use my real opinions. Like, okay, so so maybe maybe I'll be doing more of that. Maybe because like my my most offensive opinions seem to be getting a lot of views lately. Maybe I'll I'll keep doing that. You know, so maybe you'll hear a lot of that. But it's not because I'm. I'm being unreal or anything, it's because I'm, I guess I'm just focusing on those opinions that I have that, that are going to be most interesting. So whenever you you, you you have a content creator and then they don't have, ever have any hot takes, you, you know they're just like not telling you. Uh, they're just going along with, with what seems yeah, popular. Are they they want to be a fence uh, sitter like uh, Boogie or like Philip DeFranco. <laughs> they don't really want to take a hardcore stance in either direction. Well, that, that would be something else. What, what I'm talking about is like someone who always has like the the predictable opinion, you know? It's like, oh, like yeah, the Kino but... Corner. <laughs> yeah, clearly. <laughs> yeah, just says, you know, what everybody else is thinking. Oh, Sallow's the best movie ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just these really like like really popular movies that that have nothing <laughs> controversial about them. So I think it, now we should transition to uh, the comment section. Uh, and uh, like we're saying, you know, 
Florian is the most popular character on Is It Kino, for better or worse. Uh, whenever he's on an episode, or even when he's not on an episode, people have things to say. Uh, it, it seems like every episode you're on, there will be comments saying, never bring Florian on again. But then any episode that you're not on, there will be comments asking, where is Florian? I only listen to this for him. So, it, it, like, unlike E. Rich, who will be on five episodes and never get mentioned once, you are always mentioned, whether it's good or bad, at, at least people are talking about you. I, I really need to, to 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 use that more, you know, just just like any news is good news, right? <laughs> yeah, so what I did was on YouTube, you can uh, you can search through your comment section with keywords. So I typed in the keyword <laughs> Florian, and I read Uh-oh. I read every single comment that had your name in it, and I screenshotted like twenty of them. And what I want us to do is I'm going to just read these, and there's no context. I'm not gonna. I don't know which episode of the podcast any of these are from. They're just fuck, just comments with your name in them. And uh, I'm going to read them one by one and let you, uh, Rapid Fire, respond to them in any way you want. How does that sound? Yeah, that's great. I sure love responding to comments. Okay, do you, you know? know a guy named Tombo? Oh, yeah, I sure do. It's like a, a real dumb fucking idiot. Oh, you don't like him? Banned. He keeps He's getting, getting banned, banned from my server, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tombo yeah. says, uh, "I and Florian have been over this time and time again. Everything Austria has is because of America. We have you, the freedom and economic developments you enjoy today. You did not earn it yourselves." Well, anything America has is because people from Europe went there, so eat shit. But but yeah, actually, I guess I'm I'm pretty happy that, that America has has done well for us after what they did in World War Two. You know, they after they we actually, saved your asses, I guess. But they they put in a lot of a lot of money to rebuild like these countries, so that actually helped. So that's good. Yeah. So you're welcome. But did you know that that I I gave Tombo his name? You know, because. I used to just call him Tom, but then my my old friend, like the actual Tom that I used to 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 make videos with, came back. So I had to rename Tombo, and his name was Tom Bombadil. <laughs> so, so I just shortened it to Tombo, and now everyone calls him that, and that's great. And I take full credit for it. But you hate him and don't want to talk to him ever again. That's right. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> uh, yep. th- the Womp and Only says, Bro, did Florian unironically say that removing Pepe from the hate symbol list would be like removing the swastika? Did I? Well... I think that was on the uh, the Feels Good Man episode that we did with Aggie when you were really grilling Aggie. I mean, it's undeniable that in, in like this certain time, like Pepe the Frog was really used in, in such a way. But I guess he's made like a comeback to being like like universal. So he's neutral. Yeah, maybe I was slightly wrong, but but also, fuck Pepe the Frog so goddamn much. Can you believe that? Like, I I did, I did, he snuck this past me. I didn't even fucking get it, but. But all of the shit in in that fucking movie is just a huge advertisement for his shitty NFT collection of Pepe the Frogs. All the that rare movie Pepe's. Came, that movie came out before NFTs even existed. No, no, it didn't. They they were talking about it in the movie how how this guy has this rare Pepe that's like <laughs> a, a, a misspelled Homer Simpson and it's worth as much as a car. Why is that? <laughs> because it's fucking NFTs. That's why. I don't remember that part of the movie. No, you don't remember the car guy. Uh, yeah. Tombo has another comment, if you want to hear this one. <laughs> I'm just saying that, like, I, I, it's too bad, because I, I like the, the art in, in the Pepe stuff. Yeah. But then the fact that it, it, it just uses it to, to, to sell NFTs, and when you go to, to Matt Fury's, like, Twitter, it's it's just like a link to to rarepepes.com, which is just the a place where you could buy Pepe NFTs. Holy shit, that's that's all he does now. All all the stuff where he's like, oh, we're gonna reclaim Pepe and stuff. Yeah, he's he animating. He just wants Pepe. money. Yeah, it, it was just like a, a, the dirtiest money there is. He just wants NFT money. What the fuck? Couldn't he have done anything better than that? No, he's Mad Fury. He has the one thing, and that's it. Yeah, but he could have done that thing to be artistic rather than like a cash grab. Instead of autistic. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, Tombo... Well, it has to be autistic, I guess. <laughs> Tombo has more to say. He says, It's funny how wow. Florian keeps asking Eggy about disavowing his past statements when Florian Himsel once said, and I quote... Wow. Are, you, are you sweating right now about what he's about to quote you saying? Yeah, it's a little bit of a... Of a problem, you know. <laughs> Tombo has like some kind of, like, w- like some kind of photographic memory for words, and like he, he will go back and find like my worst quotes. So, well, yeah, let's, well, let's, let's hear. It. Let's hear some guesses. What do you think he's about to say? What have you said in the past that is so bad? Well, I don't think it's too bad. So I, I think anything you want to something... disavow right now before I expose you. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I've changed my opinion on things, and it's like public knowledge. You should I've change your opinion about. on the Hobbit trilogy. Yeah, I bet you'd think so. You, you I, I'm gonna force you to watch that one. No, though. you're oh, fucking okay. not. You'll have to pay me like a hundred dollars an hour. So that's gonna be a one thousand <laughs> dollar fucking review. Okay, here's the quote. Yeah, from Florian Himsel. He said, "Louis C.K. can spray his white man milk wherever he pleases." Yeah, I, I still stand by that, okay? <laughs> Good. You, you know, I like you know, a man who has principles. Yeah, everyone's just always just trying to cancel people for being, like, a, a sex pest or whatever. But, like, I, I think Louis C.K. is probably, like, the least horrible about that kind of shit because... Because he, he acknowledges this in some way, okay? He got Donald Trump, he, he just grabs girls by the pussy, but he, he doesn't admit to shit, you know? So I, I, I think we should give Louis C.K. a little pass on that one, okay? Oh, I think he's already moved on. I think Louis C.K. is doing just fine. Yeah, yeah, he's... Well, <clears throat> I guess he's built it into his comedy. There was, like, one episode where where, where where there was a woman that was, like, unconscious, and she said, like, please don't fap on me, <laughs> you know, in, in, his, in, in his series called Louis. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I hope that he... He does well, okay? I, I like him. Okay, here's a one from Demonic Dude. He says, Florian is way too easily impressed. He could watch paint dry and still be entertained. I mean, yeah, I, I guess I do <laughs> I do like a lot of stuff. Okay? Do you watch paint dry? No, I wouldn't watch paint dry. Oh, so he's wrong. Yeah. Okay, Definitely. Doug Wild TV says every episode of Visit Kino provides further evidence that Florian never watches the media they're reviewing. He simply looks at the poster and assumes what the plot is in his head and goes about his merry day. I mean, that's just unfounded, okay? But you I, have I admitted that you play video games and look at your phone while watching movies. Yo, yeah, well, I still listen to it. Also, I never Fuck. look at my phone. Okay. It's just video games, okay? <laughs> Uh, Orkis says, The irony of Florian thinking the purge is a stupid idea, but supporting the riots, which are literally just that. Wow, what a complete idiot, man. <laughs> yeah, like, the purge is, is like, the government allowing people to, to do shit, you know? But then the riots are people deciding that, they, that they've had enough of, of what the government is doing. And also, I guess they're mostly protests rather than riots, but sure. <laughs> you know, it's it's completely different, and there's, like, way less violence. Why do you think protests. the Purge is a stupid idea? Because I think it would work. Oh, yeah. really? <laughs> 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 Are you serious right now? <laughs> Uh, ASDF says, this Florian guy is annoying. Of course there are more male CEOs. Men are naturally more adept at leadership. Yeah, I'm, I'm always happy when, when someone is just really outright with his stupid opinions, yeah. <laughs> well, well, I think, I, I'm starting I, to think half the people shitting on you might be, like, sexist and racist. Yeah, who would who would have guessed? Okay, so, <laughs> so let's break it down. Yeah, obviously in a world where, that is run by men, men will have been groomed into, like, being good at, at stuff like that, okay? Obviously... Obviously, men like interact in a way that that is more like like a hierarchy in a job than women would do, you know. So yeah, you would expect that to to be the outcome. Imagine that, and and women don't have the opportunity to to learn how to to get they, they don't they don't get the opportunity to behave like how men do and and be successful at their job. Okay, they they always have to make sure that they're not too offensive to the men. So sorry, I guess. 
Now, I, I guess you, you're just so happy that the patriarchy exists. Well, oh, that, that's really good for you. Do you think that the context of uh, that comment being on our review of Santa Inc. changes anything? Because, I mean, Santa Claus should be a man. No, no, I don't think so. Oh, okay. I, I, I think that... Like in in the show specifically, I think that a, a a really cool female Santa would would be really good. Okay, I mean it'd probably be weird if if she's like a literal elf, but sure. I, I mean they they had like a black Santa, so why why wouldn't wait? I, I mean they almost had a black Santa, and that would have worked. So you you just wait, okay? If you go like in the future, like fifty years in that show, you you got probably a, a transgender Santa. Okay, so so get ready to to have your patriarchy toppled. All right. Prime Connor says, turned on the show for 48 seconds and heard Florian and instantly turned it off. Yeah, that one's probably on you. I bet that's that one episode where you talk, where you made me do the intro, but then you, you kept in the part where I was like <laughs> waiting to do the intro because I was thinking what I'm going to say. Did I leave that in? Yeah. Oh, oops. <laughs> you didn't do that on purpose? <laughs> I, I think uh, I wanted to leave in when I asked you to do the intro because uh, when you did do the intro, like Discord cut off your opening word and I didn't want the very first word of the podcast to be like not there, you know, I had to prepare people. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it, you probably left like a lot of awkward silence in there where I was thinking of what to say. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want at the beginning of my hour long video is awkward <laughs> silence. Yeah, that's why he left, I assume. Unless I did something else, but why would I talk at the first 40 minutes? I'd probably, probably get 40 like, seconds. Uh, yeah, I'd probably get like in at, at like the 30th second. So he would have hurt me for 10 seconds and quit. I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> so Lobster Magnet says, I love how Florian, and, and try to guess what uh, movie review this one is from. It'll be really oh, hard yeah. to guess. I love how I Florian tries to come up with reasons to hate the Northman when we all know the real reason he doesn't like it is because all his bred two buddies warned him the alt-right white nationalists like it because it's about white people and Vikings. Is that true, Florian? Wow, I mean, can you... <laughs> Can you imagine having such a dumb opinion as that guy? <laughs> Jesus, man. So yeah, you're, I, I you're can... telling me you were not influenced by BreadTube warning you about the film? No, I fucking love, like, crazy alt-right movies. Like, I'm okay, not like, what is a woman? I, I didn't love that one, obviously, but like, I love Mel Gibson movies. Yeah. And, and I think they're probably better because he's such a cunt, you know? I think that adds to it. Like, uh, I definitely. I, I like when he, you know, he's such a good actor. You wouldn't even know that the character is being portrayed by a racist. Like, he's so good at just playing a normal guy. Yeah, except for those, <laughs> those movies where he's explicitly an asshole, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, oh, so, here's a... So, basically, like, I, I haven't even heard of that. I, I just... I, I don't know. The Norseman was just so boring, and someone really would you have liked up. it more if half the characters were like forced diversity and no. you know, like lesbians and shit? No, you, I would you have did liked just it tell if... me that you loved the Lightyear movie. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I guess you'll see in my letterbox review that it, it's not because of that. <laughs> oh, I, I can't wait. When is that going up? Well, probably probably gonna do it right after. Actually, okay, good. <laughs> but we're not gonna we're not gonna key on that one, are we? I'm not going to see that film, no. Oh, uh, tragic. Well, I'll, I'll trust your like opinion. So yeah, I'm, I'm sure you will. But basically, like, the Norseman is just so incredibly boring to me that I, I, I just feel bad for anyone who likes it. Okay? There's, like, <laughs> nothing in it. Like, you, would it have killed you to write an actual story where things happen? Really? Yeah, I'm... <laughs> You know what? I agree completely. I don't think uh, Kino Corner stands a chance. He's going to try to refute your claims in his upcoming video, and I, I think it's a fool's errand. Yeah, I, I know my arguments are just foolproof. Yeah. I mean, bulletproof. So they, they, he's got nothing. I, I'm sure Although, he's just going to like. I read through the comment me. section yeah. on your Northman review on your channel, and I think every single one disagreed with you. Was there even one person who thought you made a good point? Uh, I Other think there than were me, like two or three, yeah. Oh, good. Well, the the video actually got like fairly popular. I mean, like it got two thousand views in one day. Yeah, I that's mean, pretty good. 
I mean, it, that's all the views it got was in that one day. It wasn't the first day, but like there were, I definitely got subscribers from that one. So yeah, I, yeah. There, there were definitely people that agreed with me. Yeah, it's just like. I don't know how people are just, like, so fucking stupid that it's impossible to agree on something with them. Like, is it really that much to ask for that we can have opinions on movies that, that aren't, like, mainstream? Like, you just have to look at how nobody fucking watched the movie because it is so goddamn boring, and then you'll know that, that people didn't love the movie as much as you'd want to. Well, speaking of, uh, you know, opinions that that are perhaps movie related uh we we recently did review what is a woman and that comment section i i, I was expecting a little more pushback against you know me and varner because varner has been getting shit on non-stop for years but uh the comment section really just shit on you and uh yeah. this one has 92 upvotes and one of them is from me, so there's a lot of people who agree with this one. Uh, Marsted R says, I like how Florian immediately makes a cartoonishly over-the-top, comprehensive, bad-faith straw man about you as soon as you disagree with him on anything. You can clarify multiple times for him, but he'll still go back to his straw man from the beginning of the conversation. It's definitely a trait of a level-headed and reasonable person. He must have edited that one, because that's not what he originally said. No, it's not edited. No? No. no it's not the one I'm thinking of, then. Okay, so... Uh, I mean, Varner specifically said that the, the trans people are trying to, to like... Like, sabotage the, the, the gay people in the in the LGBTQ movement. So I, I feel like, like anything I said about him was fully justified. Okay. I mean, I'm not here to argue. I'm just here to let you respond to the comments. But I, I'm just, like, so disappointed that there is, like, that you have so many people that are just, like, explicitly far right that, that like, none of them would, would, like, say, oh, yeah, this guy is fucking insane. No, no, it's, like, me who's insane. Okay, I, <laughs> me, the guy who thinks that, that trans women can be women, that's the guy who's insane. Well, but, like, so yeah. here's another one from that same uh, comment section. Eric S. says, it's honestly impressive how Florian can act so smug and sarcastic to people who disagree with him while consistently saying the dumbest shit possible. I felt bad for Varner, who would talk all about his experience with the LGBT community throughout his life, giving a unique perspective on the situation only for Florian to not even listen and dismiss the whole thing by saying something like oh okay so you just hate trans people and want women to live in the kitchen his view of the world is so black and white with no in between which I guess explains why he enjoys cape shit and cartoons so much I mean the guy literally complains about how the, the trans people are ruining for everyone so I, I I don't know what you want man I just can't get much closer to like a cartoon villain but sure <laughs> um okay Actually, there was I think more to that I, I should I, respond more uh yeah well, you no, can I if you want what he said. Oh, <laughs> of course yeah I'm proving the point that you don't listen to anything people <laughs> try to say uh, no I, I okay so like I, I mean, I may, I may have been a little overly comedic in, in that one, but I, like what I, I, I what I said a lot about there was I, I mean I say I talked more about Matt Walsh than about Warner in that one, so like the the stuff about how 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 he wants women in the kitchen that's definitely Matt Walsh because in the end of the movie it shows him and and his woman in the kitchen and he's like yeah this is this is what women are you maybe know, Matt so. Walsh is Turkish you don't know. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> you know, it's part of his culture. I mean, he probably would have, like, agreed with with the Turkish people, but I guess he's too Islamophobic on that one, so he preferred well, he, to he agreed with, Africa, with the African huh? people. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> okay, this is the so last guess, one, and we're, we're over time, so we have to wrap up the show real quick. And so we will uh -oh. do a part two with Florian very soon. How does that sound? Yeah, I, I love listening to these these comments. It's it, it's so good that I get to respond to them in a, in a way that doesn't allow them to to engulf me in a in a shitty conversation. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the last one, and I, I think uh, this will be a good question for you to answer. Are are you ready, Florian? Oh yeah. Okay, AJ says, "I'm sad they didn't ask Florian to answer the question. What is a woman?" Yeah, I bet I bet you love that one. What is a woman? What? I want to hear your definition. 
Well, I'm sorry. I, I'm fine with the dictionary definition, okay? What is a it? Woman, a woman is a, an adult female, but you know, like... That's what Matt Walsh said! Yeah, but the thing is that, like, if you look at a trans woman, that's obviously a female, so there you go, that's a woman well, for it's you. It's not always obvious, that's why they have to put their pronouns in the bio, because it's clearly not. I mean, if they're still transitioning, but I, I think, like, usually they, they're pretty convincing. Like Toot? I mean, yeah, Toot looks like a woman. Good, I mean, she... good, I'm glad you're not transphobic. What about Digibro? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she looks pretty, pretty female too. I mean, I haven't seen her recently, but like when I last saw her, I was actually pretty impressed with the transition. Wow. Okay. Well, we did it. We solved uh, gender relations right here, right now. I mean, like you, you gotta define a word in some way, and and like obviously we can identify as a gender, but I mean, obviously, like an adult, a, an adult female would be a woman. Yeah. I mean, that's the. Like, so if you identify as female, or if you, like, look female, then, then yeah, you, you'd be a woman. Imagine that. Well, <laughs> we did it, folks. And to all the patrons, don't worry. I know you have some biting questions for me and Florian to answer. We will get to them next time, but we uh, we went way over time today. Florian, thank you for finally coming up to the treehouse. You know, maybe we should, uh, do you want to have another guest with us, or should we just do another uh, two-man date next time? I guess we'll see. I, I, I guess either way could work. I mean, we, we could probably do like a lot of episodes. What should we title this episode? M my my thought was, why does everyone hate Florian? But maybe you have a better idea. I mean, I probably wouldn't wouldn't fit too well. Ah, hmm. well I mean, we do evaluate that question. <laughs> uh. Okay, why, why don't we why, why don't we call it like why why do monkeys fans suck so much? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, Sai. <laughs> I just rewatched your fucking Sai rant today. You know the, the Florian of that era would never have said such a thing. I don't think I would have not said such a thing. You're like, Did oh, I? Sai, why can't you just stop blaming monkeys fans? He's not a mother in the grocery store. I don't think I said that. Literally, you did say that. I really? just watched wow. it today. It's one of my favorite videos of all time. Go watch uh, Florian's video, The Fall of Psy Rant. Well, what do you know? I guess I was wrong because like content creators definitely have a responsibility of, of how they influence their fan base. How okay? dare you? <laughs> Get off yeah, how, my how, show. How... Get out of the treehouse. Go home. <laughs> no, I'm being tossed out. That's I'm right. falling to my death. You're falling and you can't get up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> from, not from falling out of a treehouse. Well, everybody, if you would like to support the show, hang out on Discord and post questions for us to forget to answer in this show, go to patreon.com slash monkey. Florian, what do you have to plug? Yeah, everyone, everyone, please buy Ballfrog. It's a very difficult game. About Video game donkey ball. loves it. Yeah, I, I did a little short about about where he why I just edited him to, to say that he, he loves Ballfrog, you know, and, and it got pretty popular. Good. <laughs> it, that was a good short. I like at the end of the woman says What does the woman say? I posted it in the comments. <laughs> she says, in Ballfrog, your ball is a frog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that definitely that one definitely works out. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, it's going viral. I can't wait, wait to, to wait, is it really be popular. What kind of views are you getting on there? Well, we're almost at a thousand, so yeah. Shit. Yeah. My best short so far. I guess I guess you don't need to be <laughs> original, you just need to put Dunk's name in there. <laughs> yeah. But it was pretty funny at least. So yeah, no, good. that was a funny video. Okay, <laughs> that's enough for this time. Goodbye everybody. Goodbye.